Today's tech tip is about wordart.com. It's a result of a discussion that we had at one of our drop-in sessions last week. Wordart.com. It's a free word art creator for students and teachers. Both can use their Google login to create accounts and log in. And applications are in all subject areas for this. It's a visual representation for learners. And here's a few examples of some types of word art that could be done. This would be a document analysis. It's a custom shape. I uploaded a picture of our Camas High School C and then took a document from the Columbian to, that um, talked about the football game last Friday. Class responses, these would be classroom responses to a question that was given as an exit ticket in class. This is a visual representation of a job description from Hewlett Packard. This is another representation of a level four response for writing. And finally, Here's a primary source representation of the first couple sentences of the Declaration of Independence. Now that you've seen some examples of what can be done with WordArt, let's go to wordart.com and create one. So go to wordart.com. Once you're there, I'm already logged in, but you would log, you would either create without logging in, or you can sign up and you would sign up with your Google account. Since I am already a member, I'm just going to log in with Google. Now you don't have to have an account to create word art and save it. You just can't go back to it later. So I'm going to create a word art. I'm going to import some words from a writing reflection that my students did. So I'm going to copy one of the questions to find out what assignments they thought were good assignments to have for, as eighth graders. I'm going to paste that text here. Remember, any text can be created, uh, put into this. I click import words. I'm going to take out a couple of misspelled ones as I skim down these quickly. There's another misspelled one. So now I have my answers. I'm going to choose my shape. I found that the bigger a shape, the better it is. The more detailed a shape, sometimes you can't read the words. So I'm going to choose this one for today. My font will be simple. My layout will be vertical and horizontal. You can choose auto for words amount or keep as is, don't repeat the words. When there's a lot of text, sometimes that's better to use. My colors and animations. This shape defaults to these three colors, which are fine by me. If I didn't like them, I could change the colors. I could take out a color if I didn't like it. I could put in another color and add it. I could click random and they'll start putting in other colors for me if I wish. Now these all look great to me. So I'm going to click visualize. It'll create my word cloud. Interesting how that one turned out with the circle around it, the shape that I picked. If I don't like that, I can go back and choose a different shape and just click visualize. And now I have a square. Of course, I have to go back and change my colors again if I don't like those colors. We'll take those shape colors off. There we go, that looks better. And there I have a visual representation of the assignments that students thought were valuable last year. That might be something I would use next year to put on my website. I could put it up for a parent night. Um, I could use it to preview the year for next year's students. When I'm done, I will click download as a PNG. 
and I can save that to my computer and then I have it for future use. So you really do not need an account in order to create these and save them to your computer. And that is WordArt. It's good to note that it's formerly known as Taggle, but it is now called WordArt.com if you've used it before.